Here's the front office of the Beverly Beach State Park, where we stayed with our RV for a week in November. As you can see, the roads are wide and flat. The park is spacious and well laid out, with a pleasant wilderness feeling, even though you're just off the 101. There's a welcome center and you can buy wood and ice. There are also numerous hosts situated around the park. The park offers tent camping, RV camping, bike camping, and even a few yurts. All are well laid out with washrooms at the center of each loop. Near the entrance to the park, you can access the beach by going over a footbridge and under the highway. It's possible to camp very close to the beach access, but the trade-off is that you're close to the road and the sites are smaller with less of a wilderness feeling. We camped at the other side of the park, furthest from the beach. Although it was a long walk to the beach, we appreciated the feeling of being more in wilderness and the absence of traffic noises. This was our spot, which is quite nicely isolated even over the weekend. Here you can see some of the typical state park back-in spots as well as some of the pull-through sites. The pull-through sites are very nice. If you're camping here, I highly recommend booking far ahead and making sure you get a really nice big pull-through site. Of course, out of season, you can secure one of these a lot closer to the time you need it. The nicest thing about Beverly Beach were the local attractions. The beaches were, of course, exceptional. I've run out of nice words to use for the beaches. Just trust me, they're all jaw-droppingly gorgeous. Um, we visited the Yakina Head Lighthouse, which is called an outstanding natural area, truly. They're not exaggerating, it is an outstanding area. And while we were there, we, we saw <clears throat> me, some grey whales offshore, uh, mostly just their spouts, but we definitely saw some whale action. Yeah, that was great. And then we also really enjoyed the very friendly visitors center that they've got there, where they have exhibits and videos, and you get to learn about how the lighthouses were run in the old days by watching a video and um, take a look at all this interesting stuff. And um, the, they were actually run like military units, right? Yep, they had uh, unannounced inspections. They could be any time of the night or day, and sometimes they were literally in the middle of the night. And it wasn't just that they were checking up on the lighthouse keepers, they were checking up on the wives and how clean they were keeping the lighthouse uh, living quarters. So while we were staying at Beverly Beach, we really enjoyed the nearby town of Newport. It's a very interesting town. It has these distinct areas. So the first night we stumbled into, we chose a nice restaurant called Nana's and it turned out to be in an area called Nye Beach, which is a historic area, very arty and lots of history to it, interesting to walk around and look at and it has a beautiful beach there as well. Yeah, and the next day we came back with the dogs and took a wonderful long walk on the beach. Uh, afterwards we went to the historic Bay Area of uh, Newport, which is a fishing community and I think it's the largest fishing community in the on the uh, Oregon coast. And there were sea lions on the fishing dock as well. Another hit was the Devil's Punch Bowl, which offers a more spectacular scenery. At times, there are jets of water here, but unfortunately not when we were there. We did see whales in this area. The Devil's Punch Bowl apparently has some pretty spectacular water spouts, but you need to have an extremely high tide to be able to see them. We went to take a look at South Beach State Park. This was a park we had considered staying at. When we saw it, we were really glad we had not chosen it. Beverly Beach was much nicer. This state park is more like a parking lot. However, it is very close to a very nice surfing beach. We were quite amazed to see so many people surfing in November. The water was icy cold. So thanks for watching and please help us grow our channel by liking and subscribing. See you next time.